Hmm. Hmm. And we need to go in through the back door. Somewhere Revo rubs his butt. <laughs> it's a callback. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I could use my interrogation or investigation skills there. But I don't yeah, think they'd true. help, seeing as you're no, busy no, no. flirting. Look, look, let's just interrupt and start waterboarding her right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, Depp goes to look for a horse to drag her behind. That's how the Sentinel Marshals do it. You know, there's like a... I could go and try and use a uh, pool of spilled beer on one of the countertops to try and divine the location of our target. <laughs> you should definitely do that. <laughs> you can oh, definitely I try. Medium. You don't know much about her, though. You don't even know what she looks like. You can mm. still try. I will say you can still try, but you'll have disadvantage on it. Yeah. Okay, Rook. Now here's here's how to get that information: is to ask her who's hotter between her and her friend Hyde, <laughs> <laughs> and just ask her to describe what's hotter about her friend than her. <laughs> that I think is the best way to talk to women. <laughs> just that fedora just suddenly grows big. This sounds like quality information. I hope you're all taking notes at home. D don't don't listen to these people. They're they're <laughs> actually very wrong. They're misleading you. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Yeah, it's true. Don't don't do those things. Uh, while they're flirting, can I perhaps attempt to? Uh, subtly uh, try to build a picture of this Hyde person, or is she just not talking about Hyde anymore? Uh, you're talking trying to let slip uh, details of her? Of her yeah, physical like appearance, I should Attempt to steer the conversation in that direction with my interrogation skills. Inject, mm -hmm. you know, a word here and there while they're talking to, you know, plant seeds. Sure, that sounds fun. All right, let's try it. You know, he'll say, you know, I can see you two aren't trying to hide your attraction to each other. Oh, my. It works out really well for me. It does. Uh, it's the best role I've had all night. <laughs> that is shipping. It's like smash cut to whole gang How did in a we gutter. Get kicked out of a brothel <laughs> from him <laughs> making a joke about women. Alright, so she lets nothing slip. She's like this almost a steel trap of conversation, but she does instead seem to get agitated as Depp kind of cuts into, I guess, flirting with Rook. And eventually she says, I'm not letting anything slip simply because I don't want you to start any trouble here. Uh, now, if you'll let me be, let me by, right? I'll be on my way. I've said all I had to say. It seems like she's trying to get you to leave both Crown's, or, yeah, Crown's Mist and, well, perhaps Dragon Eyes. But not in a very forceful way. She just kind of is doing the equivalent of saying, you know, get out of town, please. You said she wanted us to let her by? Yep. As in, through the door. Uh, Depp moves away from the door, but remains in the brothel. Guile, yeah. guile. Yeah, we're not blocking her or anything. Yeah, she, I mean, you know, she was just making requests. It's not like you were blocking her. So she saunters out. Hmm. Well, maybe I maybe I should have read her mind. <laughs> okay, know. deputy dog. <laughs> I gotta work on this. This sucks. <laughs> no, 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 no. It was, I, it I was perfect. I definitely got a light. I got a light Nick Cage from that. You did good. <laughs> I just like all I can think of in my head is him running down the street shouting, "I'm a vampire! I'm a vampire!" <laughs> <laughs> And also, it was also a bit of a bit of John Stewart's Mitch McConnell impersonation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. It's going to be a work in progress. Tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow work, I'm just going to talk like Nick Cage all day. <laughs> People just steer clear of your cubicle all day. <laughs> well, I mean, not that different. He'll keep normal. bouncing it off of that uh-huh. thing. I'm, I'm going to get called into the director's office and be like, look, we've had reports that you're threatening to take people's faces right off. <laughs> there aren't any bees, okay? There's no bees. <laughs> Can you please leave your wicker baskets at home? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, obviously we need an alternate approach. Yeah. I so who do we know really that's small and stealthy? This. <laughs> hmm. I wonder. Well, As we all turn to look at Frazzle Fuse. <laughs> well, He's got like uh, a lit bomb in his hand. <laughs> I'm, I'm small, that's for sure, but I'm I'm loud. I'm loud and proud. I rock out hard. It's true. It's impossible to sleep next to him. Freeze him. Mm. Why are you uh, sleeping next to I him? I presume that we're all forced to share like a room together or something. Nope. <laughs> no. Like nope. Dragon. No. Nope. He just does it voluntarily. Can I stay with you? <laughs> well, he just like he... migrates between people's houses. <laughs> he he he's studying the sleeping habits of various races. He's watching us sleep. Just, gotcha. Just, he just starts spooning. Yeah. Spooning puzzle fuse. <laughs> this is how goblins react when you try to spoon them. <laughs> I know it's he's okay, the explosive somewhere on his purpose. This is the least useful notebook in the history of an RPG. <laughs> so, all right. So, okay. this is like this is like Gyrax's report to his Dragon King, and he'll just be reading this one. He's like, "What the fuck is this?" So, do it's any madness. of us? So, I have a stealth skill. Do any of us? Anybody else have one? I have one. I have streetwise. I have one about opening doors, but that's not really stealthy. <laughs> well, I've got I investigation can... and streetwise, either of which might help us. Assuming I, I keep I'm... rolling high like I've been doing all night. Probably won't. And how are you going to roll a nine in this thing? That's a good question. How are you going to roll a nine in this thing? Yeah, how are you going to roll a nine? If you have two d6, maybe. No, because you keep it. It's you keep the best one, or uh, or drop the best no. one depending on its disadvantage. I'm not sure how one would roll a nine. <sighs> You'd have yeah. to have like a boost on something. I know how. The six is just upside down. Uh-oh. <gasps> he sold that Chinese math puzzle. It's <laughs> <laughs> a Sudoku, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I don't, so I don't really have anything that. Can the only help. alternative, the only other way I can think of that we can find, like, get in deeper to investigate, would be if uh, Moktesh, um, you know, rents a ghost. Did you say rents a ghost? <laughs> rents a ghost. Yes, <laughs> we are. We are in a ghost brothel. I thought we were in a gambling hall. It's a gambling hall. <laughs> we're not in a brothel, guys. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's even cause, worse. Because casinos always have the waitresses in ridiculously skimpy outfits. It's true. I remember okay. I, was, then... I worked for the Caesars Resorts here, and uh, the the barmaids always had like togas and stuff instead of actual and the, clothing. And the barmen. They had like frilly collared shirts. <laughs> they it were was kind of a raw deal. Maybe someone should try winning all the money in the house. There you go. Who who is good at gambling? <laughs> I could try. We could try. Oh, I could Anyways, use my divining try. skill to help you cheat. That's well, perfect. Oh, man. I love I'm cheating. I'm good at gambling with Rook's money. <laughs> So we're going to make ourselves such a nuisance that she'll just get... I'm, I'm doing Jerry Seinfeld now. <laughs> What's, What's the deal with What's sexy deal ghosts? With the information. What's with this airplane food? So we're going to become such nuisances that she's going to come back down and give us the info? No, the idea is that somebody wins big and there's probably like secret you know, high roller games that they can get into. There is no randomness, no chance. The prophecies Do, foresee all. Do any of us okay. have the money to get back there in the first place? Probably not, no. Do any of you have a wealth above one? 
No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I, I if we do. if we pool our resources together, then two one plus one equals two wealth. And then and then Steve's just gonna make us was, lose. Was I the only one that took one extra wealth? No. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, if you took one extra wealth, you're just at one because yeah. you start at zero. Oh, I thought the thing in the book said it starts with one. No, you go from, that, like, one, which is poor, and the next one up, two, is rich. There's no in-between. Yeah, the one Massive that was wealth in there was, in Eberron. was a Because uh, most of the backgrounds start at one. Yeah. yeah, the basic idea is you're supposed to take two resource skills, but you can t- change one of those into a wealth, and it boosts it from zero to one. Or you can oh. do it to both, and it changes it from zero to two. And then you yeah. get a third resource skill, which can be put into wealth. So you could theoretically start with uh, a rich. Yeah, I'm sorry, a super three rich. wealth. Okay, I see now. Yep. And three is the highest number, as we know. Indeed. I guess, um, Steve. Like our yeah. our group, are they well known for what they do? No. If we were well known, we'd be bad at it. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's very true. So really, her her problem was a, a a group of adventurers coming in. Uh, you got the impression more from when you were talking with her that because she knew you were looking for House Tarkannon, she uh, kind of warned you not to get involved, basically. So the question is, how did she know that? That is the question. That is the question. That is a good question. What did you I hear that, for that earlier? Question. Well, I was still trying to figure out how to do the voice. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I've been quiet all night. It's because <laughs> every step of the way, I'm like, oh, oh, I know what to say here, but it's like... He's got, sta- would, he got stage fright. How would Nick Cage say it? He's got stage fright. Right. Convincingly. I want that chocolate cake. <laughs> um, so we're, we're basically <laughs> doing this so that we don't <laughs> step on the wrong toes once we get into the high walls sector, right? Um, well, I so wanted we to know avoid... more. I wanted to know more about the situation than just I don't know something's happening. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Part basically, all you were told is we that we don't want to get tangled in with the Tarkanan folks yeah. who are potentially trying to move in there. I think that's yeah. probably inevitable anyway. All you know is that someone is trying to extort "quote unquote" rent money from the high, uh, Syrian refugees in high walls, and they have House Tarkanan ties. It seems from your investigations that that's probably probably someone involved in the Crown's Mist uh, gambling parlor. Okay, and we want to get the money back for the Syrians. Uh, whoever the client is, yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it was strongly strongly implied that it was in fact the Sirens themselves, yes. Okay. So, um is it worth trying to scam this casino or No. Should we just try and be super I careful and assume that things will careful. go sideways regardless of what we do? We need a helpful <laughs> guard. It seems like trying to investigate Hyde herself at the moment is a dead end, at least here. But it might even raise our profile in their eyes, which we do not want. I could try to divine something to at least give us a clue. Just, 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 just divine. Just go divine something. It's okay. then divine okay. something. Divine, let's leave, divine let's the thing leave first. Let's leave first. We leave the casino. Okay. We go into a creepy alleyway with a puddle of who knows what, and say, "Go ahead, <laughs> divine in the puddle." Yeah. Be like, okay, oh. fine. The puddle's not big enough, guys. <laughs> Let me put this loaf down first. <laughs> oh. Oh. Um, Gyrax reaches into his robes, produces some obscure powder, spreads it over the pool. Uh, I'm sorry. <sighs> Such Depp, immaturity. Depp loudly rolls his irises around the circumference of his eye lenses. Says a few <laughs> sacred words in Draconic, and here we go. Wait, um, what are you trying to actually do? Trying to divine a clue about where to locate Hyde. Okay. You will have a uh, disadvantage on this because you don't know anything about her other than her name. Right. And the fact she's a woman. That's about it. So roll the 2d6. So who wants to bet that was totally Hyde we were talking to? This is not uh, nah. possible. I don't want to take her, that bet. Her name was Seek. Alright, so you get... 
because when you roll a disadvantage, you take the lowest. Bomb. Uh, but you're still skilled at it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because divine. Okay. So you succeed with a cost. <gasps> you <have> to <gasps> eat the loaf. <laughs> Aww. 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 Uh, Let's do this edge of the empire style. He takes a bunch of damage. <laughs> the pool just the puddle just explodes at him and gets in his eyes. He just has he just has an embolism and <laughs> damn. <laughs> uh, he loses he loses an arm. His gem pack <laughs> explodes. <laughs> he <is> so <laughs> <barely has to. laughs> All right, uh so you do succeed. Um but the cost typically is going to be a condition. That uh, mm-hmm. you know, it does something that makes it uh, makes it more difficult for you to do things in the future. So I'm going to say that you're basically just uh, winded, and what winded is is you are you have disadvantage on all skill rolls involving physical activity, on attack rolls in the first round of any combat, and basically you just need uh, a little bit of time to catch uh, catch your breath. It's basically kind of like you did this divination and it was. Well, intense due to your uh, the things that you had to work with to do it. <laughs> I uh, blame so it gotta... on the ley lines of this continent. I'm not used to them. Uh, yes, that was definitely it, and not whatever was in that puddle. Definitely. <laughs> uh, all signs point to high walls, however. You don't get much more than that, but it's... Just... You, when you send out the signal of where is hide, and you get back uh, sort of a northerly pointing direction in the sense that uh, High Walls is where she might be. Do I get any kind of image at all? Uh, no. Okay. No. Uh, it seems our target is located in High Walls. Anything else? Slightly... Slightly to the north, but that's all I could make out. The <laughs> materials I have to work with are somewhat inferior. Well, I'm glad they bubble for some reason. <laughs> you're not even sure why it bubbles. There's nothing in there. <laughs> I'm glad your highfalutin mystical shenanigans have narrowed it down to a person in high walls. <laughs> telling you, I could have gotten you hooked up with some really high quality stuff, but no, no, nobody wants to listen to me. There's only so much you can discover when all you have is a name. Well, let's go start interviewing every person in the district. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a good start, let's go. <laughs> yep, sounds good. Alright, so you're going to head to Highwall? Yep. Z- for- Alright. So High Walls is probably the most horrific thing you've seen. It is a slum on the first hand. The second part is that, well, it was previously used as more or less a prison camp for uh, foreign nationals during the last war. When you step through the district like wall, it is literally a wall. It is a fortified area, and there are guard towers. Furious <laughs> typing. Furious typing. Uh, but I mean, it is seriously like you get the impression that while the uh, the doors are open and they don't actually patrol and make sure that the Syrians stay where they they're supposed to, it previously was used as exactly that. Maybe not just Syrians, but per- virtually anybody that the Braylish people did not like. So there's like uh, war forged in here too. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh. Mostly it's Sirens now. Uh, you can, like, step through and, you know... Uh, there's not really much of a telltale sign of a sire, except for that I kind of personally view them as sort of, uh, like, regal. They're kind of blonde uh, blonde and blue-eyed, sort of, it's kind of like a Norwegian in Dragon Age. They have that kind of highfalutin sort of thing about them, because they were previously kind of the pride of Galif- the kingdom of Galifar, because they have a known reputation for artifice, and uh, artistry and, you know, creativity. But now it's just all mud and night soil, and it, it's it, it, it's bad. It's really bad in High Walls. There's like an air of oppression and just downtroddenness all over the place. 
And for some reason, the colors shift to only gray and brown. <laughs> it's a next gen district. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bunch of chest high walls everywhere, too. Yeah, it's we very can't, good. We can't get over them for some now. reason. This is hell. Also, everything is like a corridor for some reason. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh. So we gotta find where all this uh, all this rent money is being funneled within this district, right? It's being taken from this district, yeah. Hmm. So maybe we're gonna try looking for some type of courier. Or Perhaps. maybe we can just start talking to the locals here. And now I'm doing your voice. Fuck. <laughs> All right. I'll work he's on just, it for next week. But maybe he's we just going to submerge to himself the... in like uh, Dick Cage movies the entire week. That's a terrible yeah, exactly. thing to do to yourself. Or, or yeah. I'll just do nothing but like high pitched Nick Cage voice. He just watches season of the witch over and over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we should Live talk to the Nick shopkeepers Cage. and try to get some info on who's shaking them down. Well, a it's description good wouldn't hurt. Yeah, you didn't, and if we uh, see, some, you didn't and see, if we see anything see in your goons. puddle there that would help, did you? A description? No, all I got, all I got was a, all I got was a location in the vague Hair color, sense of North Nothing. What she's wearing? No. Nope. just talks right over. Sexy ghost <laughs> costume. So Sexy while, we are, while we are lurk, looking for an appropriate shop to start asking questions at, we should keep an eye out for anybody with a goon type appearance. Hide goons. I will Hide goons. I will observe the crowd to see if I notice any goons nearby. Okay. Uh go ahead and roll it. All right. Come on. Wow. That's three in a row. <laughs> You're on a streak. Perhaps you are malfunctioning. Uh, what's a good twist for this then? Because it's supposed to be changing the situation, and all all he's doing is looking well, for. What are his complications? Reviled, <laughs> and somebody uh... stabbed him in the kidneys. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay though, because he doesn't have any. I got uh, former this lawman matter. and reviled. No complications are used to deliberately uh, get a twist on any role, and then in return you get a uh, action An point. Action point, yeah. Okay. Can you build up action points? Yes. You get, you get one at the beginning of the session, and you can award one to uh, another player by if you think they did something really cool. Indeed. And you get to, to carry over three between sessions if for some reason you have more than that. Yeah. But yeah, anyone have a good twist? I mean, just think of one. I kind of thought of one, but... Uh, I got nothing. No, nothing. Right. What, what is he trying to do nothing. again? Just uh, try to observe and see if he can just look around and find any sort of goon. Well, perhaps I am He sees a goon, but he's already headed right for us. Now, that, that just means we succeed in our task. Uh, <laughs> I got one, I got one. Okay. sees a goon, Based. but it's actually Haley Joel Osment. Oh, no. oh. But it's grown up, it's really a whole Osmond. Oh no! Oh, oh, oh. You have to steal the tiny face. You just <laughs> it just turns around again. Nope. <laughs> how how uh, how rare would it be, like for like Depp's kind to put it that way, to be around? Since oh, very wild. So no, very easily because he's uh, Warforged and Sire used the most mm. Warforged in the in the uh, the war. So he's he's actually not alone here. There's actually quite a few Warforged in this district. Uh, it's like no, that I, tiny Tam robot from uh, Futurama. <laughs> My people are not well liked. But yeah, uh, so Depp, you go ahead and you look around. Uh, mostly, you just see the downtrodden, the. Uh, people who have very little hope left because their nation is just utterly gone. Uh, not much in the way of goons, though you do see someone suspicious, a hooded figure that sees you, and you see them, and then they quickly like dash behind a alley. Hmm. Well, I elbow the nearest 
other reclaimer and set off in that direction, moving swiftly and purposefully without running as much as I can. All right. Over there. He's hey, a liquid hey. metal man. Over here. Hey. I start running with after the rocket man. I am pretty rocket tall, man? so I can I can move pretty quickly without running, but it's still I don't want to create a panic in the crowd. All right. No one seems disturbed. And as you turn the corner, I assume you're you're going there. Yeah. Uh deciding how to go about this. You don't see a suspicious figure. You just see a girl. She's kind of just sitting on a uh, a box that's possibly filled with something. You're not sure. But it's just kind of there that she's sitting on. The only thing you notice that's suspicious about her is that her hair is way nicer than any, anything should be here. Because everything else is mud covered. Is she, is she wearing a hood? No. She's looking... Uh, Shall we say she is trying her best not to look suspicious? Very obviously so. Uh, my trained lawman's reflexes would, would certainly catch on to that. He would say, well, hello there. Old girl. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it just kind of... Uh. Did she come up behind him and say that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she turns, uh, the girl does, and looks at Depp, but kind of doesn't really see him and just kind of sque almost squeaks out a, uh, hi. Hi, hi, hello. Seems very nervous. Is there some kind of high-end barber working out of this district? Barber? No. Well, my no. friend here, and he gestures at Silver, as you can see, her hair is just a whole heap of trouble. Maybe y'all could help her out. What? No. She, at this, the girl who, by the way, I say girl, but she's like 15, turns her head and looks at Skylar, frowns, and then looks up to Depp and says, I'm not your fucking barber. See? Rude. <laughs> I ain't suggesting that you are, but clearly you know a good one. Your hair is better than anyone else's in this here slum. There's a slight tick to her eye, and she, like, grabs her hair and tries to hide it very unsuccessfully. Because it's down to her <laughs> waist, so. Uh, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, man. You, you know, it's not going <sighs> to... You should probably, like, have a hood for that. You know, big... Uh, I've got long hair, too. I, uh, you know what? Okay, what, why don't we just skip all the bullshit? What fucking what you, bullshit? I, I mean, you really do need to do something about that hair. That's all right. I'm saying, it's Silver. It's terrible. Silver? Her name is Skylar. Skylar. Look. I ain't got time for all your fancy <laughs> organic <laughs> names. For all your fancy consonants. <laughs> she puts her fists on her hips and she goes, I ain't got time to remember her name to my coworkers. Well, that is precisely what I was saying. Yes, you got the gist of it. <laughs> <laughs> she puts her fists on her hips and breaks one of her hips. Oh, <laughs> uh, but the girl jumps up suddenly and, like, says something uh, something in like that same squeaky voice that is very like she's definitely nervous it's not her normal talking voice and she says look I don't have time to mess with you guys just do what you're here to do okay fuck and then she walks off oh. or tries to and she's kind of wooden about it like she's trying very hard to look natural it's failing badly well I can tell that you're trying to hide something <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's that was bad. His chest, his chest opens and a drum kid comes out. <laughs> he's got he's got a wax cylinder recording. Somehow it plays horns. <laughs> 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 
FF? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. She, like, stops at that and looks over his shoulder and says, What? I hear that there's some people shaking down the honest folks trying to make their way in this here district. She rolls around on that and points at you guys and says, Yeah, well, maybe you guys are here to stop that shit and you should do it now. Fuck! Maybe.